All right, let's hop right into the demo here. I'm going to be showing you Rollback RX, an instant time machine for your PC. Essentially, you can restore your entire workstation to any previous state without losing any important files, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a document here, and I'm going to call it test, and I'm going to open it up here, and I'm going to put in here important document, do not delete. Obviously, this is a very important document. I can't lose this as it's vital to my organization. I'm going to open up my web browser and cruise the web as I normally do. While I'm doing that, I get infected by a virus and obviously viruses can be very fast to crash our system here. As you can see, I'm getting documents here piling up along my desktop. I'm going to go ahead here and change the background of my PC. Obviously, there's some things that are going on here. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm really going to do something serious and I don't recommend doing this at home unless you have Rollback RX installed on your machine. I'm going to open up the registry here and delete the services registry. Obviously, this is a very important registry. This is tied to your entire operating system and keeps everything working in perfect order. Obviously, by deleting it, I'm going to cause some major issues for my machine. As you can see, we're already starting to see some issues here. So let's power cycle the machine and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a blue screen. Most times I would lose my data, but with Rollback RX again, we can recover to any previous snapshot and get out of a bad situation and we can recover any files within seconds. So allow me to show you that. As you can see, Rollback RX is loading before the operating system. This allows us to get into its menu here and we have a few different troubleshooting steps available to us. First and foremost, I'm going to take a snapshot. I'm going to call this crashed and we'll put in the description need doc. Now I'm going to load into my snapshot. Now these snapshots have captured the system exactly as how it is when I took that snapshot. I'm going to load into my previous snapshot here and you'll see that it loads in seconds. As you can see, we're back up and running into the operating system, but Rollback RX has given us a friendly reminder that we may be missing some important documents as we've rolled back to a previous state. And this is true. As you can see from my desktop here, I'm missing that test file that I had earlier. So what I'm going to do is look through the different options here. Now I can always explore by file name, by file type, or file location, but there's another method too, and one that I personally prefer, and that's to explore the snapshot. So allow me to show you that. And what I'm going to do is go to my snapshots. Now you can see that crash snapshot, and we can't load into it. It is a crashed state, but what's great about Rollback RX is even without a bootable state, we can still load in and get our file. So what I'm going to do is click explore, and that's gonna mount the snapshot as a virtual drive. And what's great about that is I can actually load into that and get any files I want. So as you can see here, it's loaded up as a virtual drive. And we're just gonna go ahead here and just go through until we find our desktop. So as you can see, there's that file, the original, I have the copies, but I don't want that. And I'm gonna just drag and drop it right to the desktop there. It's literally as easy as that to recover a file with Rollback RX. And there we go, we can open it up and we can see that it is the same document that we had earlier. So what we've just shown you here today is that we're able to go back in time within seconds, basically one reboot cycle without losing any files at all. This is what separates Rollback RX from most competitive solutions is that it is a true disaster recovery and instant time machine for your Windows-based PC. Well, that's it for the demo today. Thanks for watching and we hope to hear from you soon.